So there's a new salon in Philly, and it specializes in curly hair. It's called Salon Tori Did That, and although it's only been open for two months, it's already in high demand. And we got Shayna up early to join us this morning, and you look amazing, and we love your hair. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Good morning, Mike, Alex, and Karen. This is so exciting, and I will get up early to sit in a chair like this <laughs> with someone like this any day because as any curly-haired person will tell you, it can be hard to find someone and a salon specifically that focuses on textured hair, but that's where Tori comes in. Hello, Tori McCutcheon. Hello. She is the owner of the new salon. How long have you guys been open now? I've been open since June 1st. And you are already booked out. I looked through your Instagram comments. People have alarms set for September 1st <laughs> so they can book you for the month of October. How did yes. that happen? Um, I've always been doing a month, in the, month ahead, and um, yeah, it's been like a sneaker drop. You have to be on it. Why do you think there's such demand? I mean, there are millions of hair salons mm -hmm. all over the country, and yet when a curly hair salon opens, people like me get really excited. Why do you think that is? Um, I feel like just because it's a curly hair salon open doesn't mean they know your hair type. They don't know how to cater to you. So a lot of people are hesitant. So I feel like I've shown that I can cater to any curl type. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have had that experience where you call a new salon. Does anyone know how to work with my type of hair? Mm -hmm. They'll be like, yeah. <laughs> and then you get there and find out that was and not they're terrified. true. <laughs> yeah. And you've worked in salons for years, uh, salons that didn't specialize in textured hair. Right. What was that like? Um, it was definitely difficult because, you know, it wasn't something that they were used to seeing. So a lot of times my clients didn't always feel the most comfortable there. So I just felt as though I wanted to make a space that felt safe for them. Yeah. So when you are working with people's hair, is it a mix of people who have always been embracing their natural textures or do you have people kind of making that jump, the big transition? It's a it's a mix. Like some people are just starting, especially after quarantine. Um, and then some are like just trying to get a better routine down back, you know? Yeah. It feels like you can never find the exact right routine. <laughs> Always searching for it. For sure. What is that process like when someone comes to you and they're, they're wanting to make the jump, maybe, maybe they're straightening, using chemicals, wigs, mm -hmm. weaves, whatever. Um, how do you work with someone to take that next step? Um, a thorough consultation like I have to make sure like we're on the same page and like you know I can provide that um, you know path for you you know like kind of set you up so that you know what to do along the way I always hear from people on social media who who want to start embracing their texture but they just have no idea where to begin um, mm -hmm. so tell us what for those people who are watching and wondering what's the process like if they make an appointment what are you gonna ask them to do when they come in? How's it gonna work? You have to come in in your most natural state. So no product, nothing. Like I want little to no product. So like leave in, just come in as is. Can we talk about how scary that is? <laughs> when you're not used to wearing your natural hair and they mm -hmm. say no product, wear it down and come here in public. It the can be scary. The poor people that have worked that day, you know. <laughs> uh, but what is it like for customers when you do give them that first curly cut, you, they're hydrated. Mm -hmm. When they first see that look, what, what is it like? It's definitely a relief. They like don't know that their hair can like really do what I've like accomplished that day. So I think it's just like a, you know, it's uplifting for them to like kind of like push forward and keep embracing their natural hair. And the transformations are amazing. I could spend days just looking through the Instagram before and afters of the curly transformations. <laughs> what is it? What are you doing here that makes it you know, some people, it's like, I've never seen my hair look like this before. Mm -hmm. What is the magic that you're working? Um, I'm just seeing what the hair needs. Like, you know, I'm not doing anything like crazy. It's just like a lot of times it just needs a good cut and hydration. Yeah. And um, I think proper products really play a part. You yeah. Know? What kind of products are you using here? I'm using Innersense products. They're organic. They're naturally, you know, natural based. So it's, uh, it's definitely a big difference from using like Shea Moisture, Cantu. Um, All so. the go-tos. <laughs> I no know. No eco-styler here. <laughs> no eco-styler. <laughs> <laughs> so you're booked out at least through September, and then your new bookings open. Um, so for October, it'll open September 1st. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you guys are, you are so busy here. Are you thinking you might even need to expand? <laughs> it's definitely a thought. It's definitely a thought. So, um, but I just got here, so I'm like already thinking ahead though yeah mm -hmm. you're not alone though this this curly this natural hair community and salons they're growing in the mm -hmm. area right definitely are there others um, that you're working with and and is there a community that you've been able to find yeah um, Ruth Elena she does my cuts in between my haircuts uh, my personal haircuts <laughs> yes. um, Sean uh, at Carl's Kingston coils like she's amazing um, it's definitely like a 
few gems out here. Yeah. You just got to find them. They're out there. Mm -hmm. Curly head folks, they are out there <laughs> to help you. Well, thank you so much. This You're is so, so exciting. Uh, Tori did that. We're here in Head House Square. If they want to find more information, get in touch with you, how can they do that? They can find me on Instagram at Tori did that, or they can go on my website at Tori did that com. She did that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Looks great. I she love the before great. and afters, too. Mm -hmm. Well, Tori did that.